Hello, welcome back to Pickleball Guys. My name is Fred and today I'm going to be reviewing the Diadem Edge 18K Pickleball Paddle. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss out on any of our pickleball content. Let's begin. This premier paddle is the next generation of the popular Warrior Edge. It still has the same internal structure, comprised of a 16 mm thick polypropylene honeycomb core. Weighing at approximately 8 ounces, the Edge 18K has a paddle length of 16.4 inches, a paddle width of 7.5 inches, a handle length of 5.3 inches, and a slim grip size of 4 and 1 8 of an inch. It's been a popular paddle as it's been claimed to give the best of both worlds in terms of power and control. Now, Diadem has taken what's great about the Warrior Edge and put a whole new spin on it. Literally. The surface of the Edge 18K has been upgraded with patented state-of-the-art 3D 18K carbon fiber that utilizes a unique triaxial weave which incorporates three interwoven yarns at 60 degree angles, giving it not only this cool 3D pattern look, but also a textured feel you won't find anywhere else currently on the market. Unlike traditional paddles with unidirectional or 3K raw carbon fiber surfaces, the Diadem Edge 18K's advanced surface construction amplifies the spin potential at every angle of contact. This paddle could very well be a game changer. While testing out the paddle's power, I definitely noticed an increase in power compared to the Warrior or the new Warrior V2. And that's to be expected since it's not quite as thick as those paddles. It's not quite as powerful as the Icon series, but it's certainly close. When I was hitting hard within the sweet spot, I was getting all the power I needed while still being able to easily direct the ball where I wanted it on the court. When I hit outside of the sweet spot, I was still finding a decent amount of power in my shots, even though it wasn't feeling nearly as clean when I did hit the sweet spot. Keep in mind that with this paddle shape, the sweet spot sits a little bit higher up than a wide body paddle. So it doesn't favor shots that are struck lower on the paddle face. Overall, I would give the Edge 18K a 7.5 out of 10 in terms of power. With regards to control, this paddle felt great. The 16 mm core absorbs plenty of energy from the ball and allows you to take the pace off of hard hit shots with ease. There were a few times I tried to do this and I would miss the sweet spot on it and it felt kind of dead. But whenever I caught those same shots in the sweet spot, I felt excellent control and touch. I could really feel the ball in this paddle and whenever I wanted to attack with power, I could do so with great precision. I would give this paddle an 8.5 out of 10 in terms of control. Now, let's get into the spin capabilities of this paddle because this is what I love most about it. I want to start off by clarifying that the majority of spin will come from your swing mechanics rather than the surface of the paddle, but this also applies to aspects like power and control. Now I have to say that this paddle felt incredible when it came to applying spin on the ball. The 18K triaxial weaves that are incorporated into the surface truly make a difference, and I have no doubt that the surface texture will last much longer than any of the other gritty surfaces out there. It felt effortless to apply spin on the ball, and in the hands of a skilled player, this paddle is going to be devastating for their opponents. I would give this paddle a 10 out of 10 in terms of spin. Definitely one of the best paddles I've felt so far with regards to spin. Now when it comes to maneuverability, the Edge 18K has a good weight to it. I personally find that 8 ounces is the perfect weight for maintaining good power while still remaining fast and maneuverable through the air. Any heavier and it might feel a bit club-like, and any lighter might sacrifice some of the power capabilities of the paddle. You can feel the edges within the grip shape, causing the grip to feel almost square or rectangular shaped, which I actually don't mind at all. This grip shape might help some players feel the angle or positioning of the paddle face. And if you find that you don't like the grip shape, then certainly adding an overgrip to it will help round out the shape more. There's just enough room on the handle to fit a second hand for those two-handed backhand players out there, so it's nice and versatile in that respect. I would give this paddle an 8.5 out of 10 in terms of maneuverability. So to summarize, I really enjoy testing out the Diadem Edge 18K. It's a high-end control paddle, which although may not be as forgiving as the Warrior or the Warrior V2, it makes up for it with regards to power. It's the first paddle of its kind with this type of surface. This new and improved surface with its triaxial weave that layers those carbon fibers at 60 degree angles truly made a difference on the spin capabilities of the paddle. Both John and I had a lot of fun playing around with the spin, but in the future, I do hope to see these paddles maybe go edgeless, sort of like the Warrior V2. 
is I feel like the technological innovations are already heading in that direction. But in terms of an upgrade from the original Warrior Edge, this Diadem Edge 18K certainly has an edge. Thank you for watching. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there are any other products you would like to see us review in the future. The Diadem Edge 18K is available at pickableguys.ca. Come check us out.